good Sunday afternoon or early evening, guys. This is Dave, we're on the road again. And, uh, I'll take a little loop through uh, the town again. And, uh, I got my little mirror. Positioned on the outside of my handle, where it's a lot easier to see traffic coming. So it was cool this morning. The coffee out on the deck it was only 55 degrees, and I'd say it's maybe in the mid 70s right now, maybe 75. Sunny, sunny skies. Going through downtown area here. It's uh, pretty busy on a Sunday here. So we're going to take a little look through town here. Go down to uh, 441. Uh, if you don't know, we're in. Daily goal, I guess. Ten mile ride. But the Onyx uh, Apple gave me that route. Oh, here's a guy that's just down at the end of the road there. He's probably going to be sitting there when I go by again. But it's going to show you the uh, miles. Yesterday we had a path that we're going on had a uh, couple hills on it. Most of them were all downhill. And yesterday I uh, charged the e-bike battery. It charged fairly quick. I think we ended up only with three bars left. Pretty good.
the odometer reading. Yesterday, this is where we saw the lady uh, on the one horse carriage going down the road. She's not here today. Of course, it's a different time. But I wonder, uh, she must be one of the houses down the road or something. Using the uh, frame that came with it, I basically have a, a, a uh, clamp. It's got a clamp to the uh, handlebar, but it works. Well, we'll see if it works fine today. It's on there nice and tight. The only thing that's going to Hit something or loosens up. Alright, we're on the uh, gravel road now, so this is waiting road. Just five. over 60 miles on the uh, odometer. Or this 
assist lever. I wanted to slide those over and use that frame to mount it at the end, kind of rearrange it, but I couldn't. I looked all over the place, I couldn't find the Allen wrench that could get the size. So, went to plan B. Got kind of the, uh, the claw at the end of the handlebar here. Let's see if I can show you a picture later on. Alright, so we're coming up to this stop sign. We're going to take a right. This is where it kind of goes up the hill, so i got to get my pedal uh, assist down a little bit. Maybe I should keep it up. Let me try going up once in Bring my Shimano. This is a little bit of an incline here. In the book they say this, the bike is good for a 15 a little bit. It's not working. So put the Shimano up to seven again. Well, I got it working again, but uh, it might have it just went out again. I think it needs to be charged up again. It's been five days, and I really didn't know how it was going to react. We're going to have to so, start with a, a vertical picture right along uh, I-75. Down to the stop sign, we'll put you back on road view. I'm just getting over some uh, about poison ivy. Alright, so I forgot to turn the And uh, I think our gimbal's dead. It's not uh, it's 
not staying uh, in the landscape mode. So, so the picture's going to be bouncing all over the place, I guess. Cars coming up behind me. So this section here, I was looking on the map. This is part of the uh, Prairie Preserve. I think it's called something else. On both sides of the road here, this one kind of looks so wild here. short little uh, jaunt here and then we'll go up to uh, 441 which has a uh, bike lane in it. here. So we're going to pass all these cars that passed me up. So we're back on the bike lane here. have something going on. It's like a Florida Highway Patrol and a local cop, so it's probably uh, it's like a local cop just took off. So Florida Highway Patrol is still on the side of the road there. I was in Gainesville a little bit earlier today and supposed to be going over to the other side of the road, but I'm going to lay in traffic and slow down to 
10 degrees. And uh, let's see what's going to go on in here. Couple motorcycles. Couple e bikes, maybe. There's a guy over to the right there. across the road there we'll uh if we get, get some time we'll go to the pizza and we'll try it out. There's really nothing else around here. No other restaurants. This is the only restaurant in town. It's got a website I'll see if I can put a link on it here. up uh, pizza the way I wanted it. Came up to $13.99 and then I started adding ingredients onto it and bam bam it's up to 30 bucks. Gimbal up. Keep an eye on that. Well, at least we know how long a charge is for. This uh, selfie stick had a little light with it too, which was kind of neat. I think I can use that uh, in this frame. Should be able to use it okay. <laughs> so, uh, sitting at 64, here at 57, we got to get to 67, so it's Three miles, sixty-five point two. So that's five, five and three, right? Eight miles. So you need another two miles. So I don't think it's two miles back to the house. It's maybe a mile. So we'll. Uh, down to the uh, church here, turn on Tuscawilla Road, and if there's nobody parked at the preserve, we'll take a turn and go through the uh, preserve. I think that's almost a mile going around the little loop that's in the preserve.
videos ago, we went to the observation deck. Check things out. And uh, we had a uh, little chronicle photo that you can take and email it. And if it's submitted with a uh, kind of like a time lapse deal, and it's online. Sorry about that gimbal. But that's how we learn. When things don't work, go where they're supposed to. Pedal assist. We've got the three bars left. So we went through two, and that's it seems to be getting better. So maybe the bike is working itself in. I'm talking and the damn phone is turned off. Anyways, we're at uh, 67 on the odometer. And, uh, we go up the hill for a second here and turn around. Why that kicked off the deck. Down the two bars. Turn around here. No cars coming. There we go, 67.2 puts us at 10 miles. We're at uh, 67.4 with two bars of power left on the battery. And uh, we've got to charge up the gimbal for tomorrow, for tomorrow's ride. And uh, that's it. Beautiful afternoon on a Sunday here in McCanopy, Florida. Thanks for coming along. We'll guys see you next time.